I love teaching. It's working with the kids. Working with adults, with children, there's so much laughter and there's so much joy. You see it on their faces. When they learn a new song or they, you teach them something that's exciting, they, they get that look on their face and they're so happy. It's about teaching, but it's also about bringing laughter and joy into the lessons. You know, I experienced a lot of problems with school. I had a difficulty in school. My life wasn't going anywhere. And in the ninth grade, I got kicked out of school. And I thought, what am I going to do now? And I went to work part-time. I always had a fascination for the ukulele. But every time I tried to learn, I could never get anywhere because my friends would tell me, you know, you just can't do it. But it wasn't until 1963, and I believe I was 16 years old, when I heard a song called Sushi on the radio. And that was a song recorded by Ota-san. And I went to see him, and uh, thankfully, he said that he would teach me, and that's how it all started. But he was so good that after 18 months, I told him to quit, because I said, that's all I can teach you. I taught you everything I knew, you know. The rest is up to you. About six months later, he called me and says, would you like to come and help me? I'm teaching adults on Saturday. Roy had this passion to teach the ukulele. And with uh, Otosan's blessing, Roy opened up a ukulele studio right next door to Otosan's studio. When Roy first started teaching, I remember him telling me that there's a point where he reached a, a roadblock in, um, in getting the kids to play music and read the music. And he thought, there has to be another way of doing this. It just hit me, why not use the notes of the alphabet? Because the kids are used to that. They grow up from the infant learning their alphabets. I think if it wasn't for this method, that, that we wouldn't have um, so many kids coming in and just enjoying making music. We ended up teaching seven days a week, but we loved it. Today, uh, we have about 35 instructors. All our instructors are all former students of ours. Uh, we have instructors who've been with us since they're five years old and they're now working full time with us. Yeah, he's just taught me a lot. I mean, when I first started as a child, you know, taking lessons five years old and then growing up with him. Yeah, he's just, he's just a generous man. I really look up to him. We've had so many students that have gone on to professional musical careers. Jake Shimabukuro. Jake was a student here at this studio for seven years. We decided to, to visit Otasan one day. And Kathy and I, we had never recorded an album, but it kind of hit both of us. Like, hey, let's do this with Otasan. And it, it was just like a natural thing from both of us. From that first project, it would lead us into doing so many projects with other artists. The best thing about working with Ryan was he was just easy to work with. You know, he, I never felt one ounce of pressure. He produced our first two CDs and he really mentored uh, my two boys. We appreciate everything they did for us. And one day, I was sitting at the bandstand having lunch, and I thought out loud, I was looking at the bandstand, and I said, oh, my dream is to put on an ukulele festival. Here we are now with the 40th annual ukulele festival. Just a spectacular, fun thing where all of our students from all the studios come and participate. You have international people coming in, like ukulele players from Japan and Canada, and, and then kids. Hundreds of kids, you know, thousands of kids. Because of Roy having his ukulele festival, they have ukulele festivals all over the mainland, you know. I'm proud of him because, because he brought the ukulele forefront. He's also compassionate, you know. He understands how others feel. But there's another thing that is in my heart, and that is to always to help children. Many, many, many years ago, uh, the, I, I wrote a song. The words that flowed out of me were, I am what I am. I am what I am, I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see that it's me, all of me. The words really simply mean that, you know, we should be comfortable with who we are. 
and I didn't realize it until three years ago when I started my second journey in schools, talking to children about how we shouldn't tease, how we shouldn't bully, and all these things. And little did I realize that as I would speak to these kids, that it was making sense to them. Because I started getting letters, and Kathy would read these letters, and she says, Roy, whatever you're talking, keep it up, because you're getting the message across to the kids. I mean, bullies would stop bullying. And when I read those letters, I knew now that I could never stop. The name of our company is Roy Sakuma Productions. But really, it's Roy and Kathy Sakuma because she keeps everything together. She keeps everything flowing. I'm so thankful because she is the love of my life. And so we're, we're very blessed.